Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss configuring Cisco IO software. So all the devices, routers, switches, they have the uh, software and we need to interact with them. And to interact with them, we need to give commands. We need to configure them. And we have discussed in one of the videos that we have three different IOS modes of operation. User exit mode, privilege mode, and global configuration mode. So when we start the router, we will be prompted or we will land in the user mode. And this is the sign of the user mode. So this greater than symbol of greater than shows that we are at the moment in the user mode. And in the user mode, we can only run the non-disruptive command only for troubleshooting and monitoring. We cannot do more than that. Now from this mode or from the user mode, if you want to go to the privileged mode, where we can run more powerful commands, we use a command that is enable. And this command, and after pressing the enter, we will move to the privileged mode. And you can see the, the sign of this hash. So this sign shows that now we are in the privileged mode. And this privilege mode actually allows us to run more powerful or the privileged commands. And now if you want to go back from this privilege mode to the user mode, we use another command that is disable. And this disable command will move us back to the user mode. Clear? We will do this in the in this Cisco uh, packet dresser as well. Just the theory part. And now in the, in the privilege mode, from this privilege mode, we can also move to the global configuration mode. And for that, we have a command that is configure terminal. When we type configure terminal, we will move to the global configuration mode. And for the global configuration mode, you can see this is the sign. This is the indication that now we are in global configuration mode. And this global configuration mode actually allows the command which directs or which asks the router or switches to perform some job for us. Or they ask them what to do and how to do. And if, if now we want to move from this global configuration mode back to the privilege mode, then we can use a command that is end R, we also have a shortcut key that is control Z. So any of these commands will move us back to the privilege mode. So N and press enter. And this, this is how we will move again back to the privilege mode. So from global configuration mode, we are back to the privilege exit mode. Now let's do the same thing using the Cisco packet tracer. Select any router from here from the device selection box, a device specific selection box, put it in the workspace, click, select the command line interface, and wait for the router to boot. It will take a few moments. And the initial configuration, we say no, and press enter. Now you can see this prompt actually shows that we are in the user mode. And now from this user mode, we can go to this uh, this privilege mode. And if you want to go back to the user mode, then use the command disable. So we are back in the user mode. Again, in the if you want to go again to the user privilege mode, and you can say EN and just press enter. The operating system knows, or iOS knows that you want to type enable. And from this privilege mode, you can write configure just to memorize the uh, commands, I'm just writing the complete command here. Otherwise, you can just write config T like. So press enter. Now we are in the global configuration mode. And if you want to go back from this global configuration mode to the privilege mode, we can use the command end, E-N-D, end, enter, enter. We are in the uh, privilege mode. And from this privilege mode, back to the uh, to the user mode, just you need to type disable. There are other commands as well at the moment. We just say disable 
and we are in the user mode. So this is how we can shift uh, or we can move from the user mode to the privilege mode and from privilege mode to the global configuration mode and from global configuration mode back to the privilege mode and back to the user mode. So this is how we can move in between these three modes of operation. In addition to user mode, privilege mode and global configuration mode, we have sub modes in the router or switches as well. This is because uh, you can see this router, this uh, the, the picture. So we have we have this fast Ethernet port to connect with the Ethernet in the computer lab or at our home. So these are the Ethernet ports. We also have serial ports to get connected with some wide area network. We have the serial ports as well. And we also have the console ports as well. So we have discussed that we can access the IOs of the uh, Cisco um, router using this console port. So we also have these different kinds of interfaces or ports there. Now, to configure, so to configure these specific modes, or these specific these interfaces or ports, we have configuration sub modes. And to configure them, we move from the global configuration modes to those sub modes. So for example, at this time you can see we are in the global configuration mode. From this global configuration mode, for example, if you want to move to some specific uh, port, for example, if you want to move to the console port, then we can use this, this uh, for example, at the moment, or this fast ethernet, so if you want to move to the fast ethernet interface, then we use the command interface fast ethernet and zero one. This is the interface is the command and this is the. So this is, these are actually these ports. So in one of these ports is zero one. So interface fast ethernet zero one will move us from this, this global configuration mode to the specific interface mode, and you can see this has been changed. This is important to note that from this global configuration mode, we are in this interface, so we are in, in, in this interface, for example, at this, at, this, at this time, we want to configure this one. So you can see this has been changed, this shows that interface. And this is actually interface configuration mode. So this is actually sub mode, and this is called interface configuration mode. And at this specific time, we are whatever commands which we will apply to the router, those commands will only affect this fast Ethernet interface, fast Ethernet zero one interface, any one of them, so any one of them. So this will be applied only to those interfaces, not to the complete router, not to other ports or interfaces. So this is the sub mode. And there will be a set of commands which we can only use for only this sub mode. So in the same way, we can also go to the console port. So in the console port, for example, so this is, uh, yes, yeah, sorry. So again, the same, same uh, slide is repeating. But if you want to go to console port, so this is the console. If you want to go to the console, then we have another command that is line console zero. By giving this command, we will actually move to the console port as a line console interface of the router. And then you can see this will change. The prompt sign, this, this, these things will change. See, before that, this was IF for interface and now LINE, this is for line interface. So now we are in the line configuration mode. And in this mode, whatever commands we use, that will be applicable to the console line only. That will not be applicable to fast ethernet or to the serial ports. So now these are actually the sub modes which, 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 which we need to use when we configure the routers. To show you these things in Cisco Packet Tracer, 
So at the moment you can uh, recognize that we are in the global configuration mode and from this global configuration mode if you want to move to some of the sub modes for example to the interface fast ethernet uh, 01 then just the same command which I showed you before so interface fast and just press tab and then this will this is how your command will be completed and then zero one so these are the specific port where we want to enter or we want to join so just press enter now you can see this has been changed it means now at the moment we are in that interface sub mode so this is like you you enter in your house so there's a man gate and then there are some uh, different rooms in that house so after uh, so in, in within that room you may be different cupboards or like that so this is how you actually are going to enter in the in the in the in the depth of the routers so now we have uh, the interface our fast internet uh, ethernet interface and in the same way we can also go to um, to line interface as well for example for that if you remember we use this as before so line console zero and this will move us to the line interface okay so we 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 discussed that there are different modes of operation of the cisco um, io so user mode privilege mode and global configuration mode and we still have some sub modes sub modes means from global configuration mode we can go to sub mode of line interface to configure the, uh, the console port we can go to the fast ethernet or we can have a gigabit ethernet and we can also have the serial interfaces so these all are the sub interfaces which which we can configure and we need to configure them uh, because we want this router and switches to get connected with the ethernet to this to the serial connection with the serial connection to some wide area network so we want to uh, we want our router or switch to work in different scenarios so then we need to go to different uh, sub modes and we need to configure them so that the router or switch can work for us so this was uh, about uh, initial configuration for the router. I hope this was a bit helpful for you. Thank you. Thank you very much.